Aloha, I'm Pastor Keith, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday, January 12th. And it's like, wow, where is it going again? Halfway through the month almost. Um, I'm going to read to you with memory in mind. How many of you are saying, sitting around saying, I don't, did that happen in 2020? 2021? When? Was it last week or the week before? You know how it's going, right? I'll have more to say about that another time. But let me read from Psalm 139. Lord, you have searched me out. O oh Lord, you have known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You trace my journeys and my resting places and are acquainted with all my ways. Indeed, there is not a word on my lips, but you, O Lord, know it all together. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain to it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand will lead me, and your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night, Darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will thank you because I am marvelously made. Your works are wonderful, and I know it well. My body was not hidden from you while I was being made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my limbs, yet unfinished in the womb. All of them were written in your book. My days were fashioned before they came to be. How deep I find your thoughts, O God! How great is the sum of them! Search me out, O God! Know my heart. Try me and know my restless thoughts. Look well whether there be any wickedness in me, and lead me in the way that is everlasting. Epule Kako, let us pray. Almighty God, creator of the universe, we are filled with wonder at all your works and overwhelmed by your infinite wisdom. We praise you for your majesty, Yet even more, we rejoice that you do not forget us, even when we forget so much around us. Yet, desire to know and care for us, you do, and we give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And now may our Mother in God, the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier, order our days and our deeds in divine peace and protection. Amen.